G23 VTEC, the build. Okay, I'm using a, a ARP, uh, which is, well, Eagle 2000 and 1.5. So from under the head, measure it, and then I'll get 1.5 right there. So I'll get that information, and I also use a 7 uh, head socket. And I'm going to use that information. I got it underlined. 38, 2000. 1.5 the length sockets uh, bolts head size is 7 16 and it requires to uh, to torque it to 43 uh, pounds of foot and the stretch is five and a half to six thousand so I'm just gonna follow whatever they, they recommended on this one but remember now I'm using a max speeding rods so I might torque it to 45 we'll see what happened if I can get the right stretch at 43 it's almost right on there because mine max speeding rods 8740 are different but I'm just gonna follow see if I can uh, get to that if not I can always uh, add uh, a little bit more just to get it so that's the plan again see the plan is to replace the bolts assemble everything the cradle and everything and if I can uh, Put the oil pump and the balance shaft for today. If not, there's always part two. Just gonna put some uh, molly lube. Just that way. And on the shoulder. Oh. <laughs> That's it. the idea. Put it on the shoulder, it's gonna be all over. I'm just gonna put some on the, put some on over the, uh, the rods. On the shoulder and the rods. The mating surface. And put some more. Put a little bit here. Messy, messy job. I try not to use the, uh, the impact on any of the uh, rod bowls. It's because of a might, uh, you could mess up the, uh, the thread. But if you could uh, go easy on it, you can manage to uh, just lightly using it, then you'll be okay. But if I can, but if I, can I try not to, uh, not to do it. I'm losing it a little. That way I can zero, zero the gauge, the stretch, but um, let me start over. Because I'm gonna rotate it, so I'm just gonna do it one at a time. Okay, or two at a time. All right, let's start with this one. Okay. Right there is zero. Yep. here yeah it's less than a thousand yeah right there. yeah it's less than a thousand so I'm just gonna take note Torque this bad boy. On this side, I got a little bit more. And I'm reading uh, four thousand. Yeah, four thousand. Remember, I, I started at uh, at uh, what? Uh, more than almost one thousand, 
So only I have a, a stretch of uh, like 3,000. Yeah. And let's check the other side. The other, the other side was zero to begin with. This one is 4,000. Not even. Okay, it looks like, uh, looks like I need to uh, torque this some more. Yeah, at least uh, 45. I'm gonna try 45 on the number four and see what happens. See how it works. 2,000. One, two, three, four. That's six thousand right there. Five thousand, I'm sorry. One, two, three. Yep. So that's five thousand stretch. Five thousand. Yep. So it looks like I got a looks like my uh stretch should be five thousand. Okay, all the uh all the torque on the uh, ARP bolts torque out good. So it's perfect. I already retorque all of them and just to uh Last look, I got the thrust bearing washers on there. Everything is clean. Make sure everything is all clean. And that's the last time I'm gonna see it. All the bearings are in, nothing's backwards. Four. Fifty-eight, sorry. Try to do it in one shot. You will have more leverage when you put the block in an angle. Rather than do it in, in, a, in flat where the torque current start coming onto your, by your chest and now your arm doesn't have the, that power to give that last torque so you end up doing it again. So one, one swing if you can. Again, I'm going to let the bolt relax and I'm going to put the, uh, the side bolts, then I'm going to retorque it again. This is only a small bolt, so I think probably require maybe like uh, 8 uh, pounds, maybe 102. 102 inch pounds. It doesn't really require that much of a torque for that small little bolt. Okay, now 
now double check. It's always a good idea to uh, to double check your work. All right. Now I'm just going to uh, retort the uh, the main bolts. That should be it. So normal rotation would be counterclockwise. It's good. Rotates. The lube has something to do with it also. It's very the uh, Pre-assembly lube that I'm using is it's a little bit too uh, thick, but if you put some oil in there, that will be perfect. Anyway, that's it. Okay, now I'm going to put the balance shaft.